Hi guys! So I haven't spoken to you for a little while, I know. I know I said I was going to get some more videos done because I was obviously on maternity leave, but as you can imagine, taking care of a baby does take up quite a lot of my time. Um, so I'm actually doing a video now because he's just going down for his nap, so um, in fact, before he falls asleep, I might just grab him and you can see him. Here he is! He's a little bit more awake than the last time when you saw him. Hi! How are you doing? Oh, that's kind of a smile and kind of a cry. And, oh, all of a yawn. All of a yawn. So, <laughs> here he is. He's nice and awake now. Who's that? <laughs> I don't care who that is, Mummy. I want to have my nap. Okay. So, anyway. Um, he's doing really well. He's um, almost four weeks old now. Be four weeks old on Sunday. Um, as you can probably see the lumps going down on his head. And we had a little bit of um, fun last week that he had to go to hospital. Um, <clears throat> because he was still very slightly jaundiced. Um, which is the kind of pale yellowing, uh, you know, slight yellowing of the skin. So we took him into the hospital. We were there for eight hours. Um, we got home at five o'clock in the morning and Steve had to get up for work at six. Um, and he left for work. And, you know, he kind of functioned on about half an hour sleep, maybe. Um, I didn't sleep at all. Um, but he's had his blood test results back and everything is okay. So it's all good, isn't it? It's all good. Have you just been sick on my shoulder? Thank you. Nice. Put a cloth on now, so hopefully if he does bring up anything else, it'll get caught on there. Um, so yeah, so he's sleeping a lot better now as well. He's managing around five to six hours sleep at night, which is fantastic. Um, he's starting to differentiate between day and night now. So whoa there, Nelly, careful. What are you doing? Crazy boy. Um, so we're getting on, <clears throat> excuse me, as I said, we're getting on really, really well. He's almost four weeks old now so he'll be a month old next Wednesday which is just crazy it's absolutely crazy stuff so you're doing all right aren't you mate hey you're doing all right and um he's starting to move over to the bottle now so I'm expressing and it's going straight into a bottle so it's kind of weaning him off um that because he started sleeping with a dummy as well and are you coming around to say hello um so he started to um, use a dummy um, so we're putting him on the bottle which just makes it a little bit easier for him so he doesn't get any confusion there you go sweet pea how many times is that going to fall out because you're not quite used to it yet are you you're not quite sure still so well, I'm going to try and get him to sleep and then I'll be back in a minute so waking him up wasn't well keeping him awake it wasn't exactly the best idea he's um he's here um on my lap at the moment um so we're just gonna carry on with this video and just hope that he'll just drift off because I'm you know he's going already so if I keep looking down it's because I'm looking at him just to make sure but because he's here I do have a lot of things to show you um but I will do a set of uh, uh, photos of swatches at the end because I'm not going to be able to swatch everything and do it all for you now. But I will, as I said, I will do swatches and then there'll be a photo e slideshow thing at the end with all the swatches, names, everything, blah, blah. Um, put my editing skills to the test. Okay, so the first thing that I kind of want to talk to you about is um, just a few things that I picked up from uh, the pound shop. Uh, because we went to Bristol the other day and I was just shocked by what I found in there so I picked up a couple of things picked up the uh, Rimmel London colour mousse it's the eight hour it's in number 13 which is galaxy and it's this absolutely beautiful purple looks like that it's just absolutely gorgeous really really deep purple um, and I said so that's called galaxy um, I got the collection 2000 big fake full slash effect mascara because I love this and um, I spent like 6 99 on it a couple of weeks ago and I found it for a pound so I'm kind of annoyed. Um, got the Stay Matte, the Rimmel London Stay, Stay Matte Dual Action Concealer and I've never seen this before, look I'm covered in purple stuff. Um, and it has a green um, concealer in the middle as well and it is just 
pretty cool and I love the stain matte range anyway so I'm very very excited to try that see if it comes close to the uh, 16 hour concealer and then I also that I love this I found a sleek lipstick as well and it's in the color um, cashmere which is 811 and it's just really really gorgeous um, dark brown uh, kind of a, a dairy milk chocolate brown is how I like to describe it but um, again sleek amazing so I was quite impressed with that I did some purchases on um, Amazon I found the again from Rimmel the lasting finish mineral powder foundation um, and this is in the color sand which is number 300 and um, as I said I'll do, I'll do a swatch at the end but I was really really interested in trying this um, because I don't actually have a lot of mineral foundations and I know that they're supposed to be really good um, you know kind of look really nice so I thought I'd give it a go anyway just to try it and I believe that was £1.25 I think with a pound shipping I can't remember I'll put all the prices below you know me I'll list everything below with prices where I got them from etc um I also tried on a whole kind of mascara kick um the lash flirt mascara from Rimmel as well um it's in coal black number three and I've heard some fantastic reviews about this mascara so I wanted to try it um because my other mascaras that I have just really don't do a lot for my lashes whatsoever so this um, is supposed to give um, times two or two times um, it's got bleh, it's got two times blacker pigments and up to eighty percent longer lashes. So I'm going to try that. But it's two times blacker. Whatever that means. Surely, if it's black, it's black. You can't. It's no more black. Name the film. And then also from. Um, from Amazon I also picked up some Urban Decay not a lot um, I got two of the cream shadows and a lip gloss so the two cream shadows that I got are in the colours Moonshine and Mushroom so this one is Moonshine you are so beautiful okay so this is the first one it's the um, this is in Moonshine and it's just a white uh, cream and the second one is in Mushroom, and that looks like that, and that is like a kind of metallic bronzy brown. So um, they were like £1.30 each, I think, again from Amazon. And the last thing that I got from Urban Decay is this lip gloss. It's a Chateau gloss, and it's in Pina Colada, and it's just this really, really pretty nude sparkly lip gloss. And it smells like pina colada. So that was kind of all of my Amazon purchases. The next thing that I did was went on to Illamasqua. Now Illamasqua were having a huge sale and all of their set, well some of their sale items were uh, £5, some were 10 some were 20 So I made the mistake of listening to Jade, who is um, Jade Lane 1 here on YouTube, who I love and just a massive, massive, massive thank you to the gorgeous suit that you sent Luke. He... I cannot wait to dress him in it. It is gorgeous. Thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart for your kindness. It is just so lovely. And as you said in your text, such a surprise. So thank you so much. Also, thank you for being the driving force behind me buying all this stuff from Illamasqua. I've never owned anything from Illamasqua before. I, I did have a powdered metal body powder which I got in a glossy box but I was really really unsatisfied with it I really didn't like it um, I couldn't work with it very well so I ended up giving it to my sister-in-law who loves Illamasqua um, so when I found out about this sale I got hold of her and she sent me her um, what she'd ordered um, on a text with just oops next to it so, so she made an order as well and it's gone to sleep Um, I'm just besotted with it. So I did some purchases on Illamasqua, so this is what I got. First thing is a nail varnish and it is in the colour Baptiste and oh my life, it is beautiful. It's just absolutely gorgeous deep purple and it is just laced in blue and gold sparkles. It is just unbelievably beautiful. Um, 
I wish you could pick it out a little bit more. I'm trying to hold it into the light. You can kind of pick it out. I'll try and get a really nice photo of it because it's just incredible. So as I said, that was in the colour Baptiste. I absolutely love their packaging. I'm hoping for um, better results. As I said, I really didn't get on with their powdered metal. So I'm kind of hoping that this stuff that I've bought will kind of, you know, reaffirm my faith with Illamasqua. I bought a lip gloss. All of these were £5, by the way. I, I thought that was amazing. Um, this is in um, Artifice. Artif 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 Artifice. And it's a lip gloss. And as you can see, it's just like this kind of nudie pink colour. And it's on a brush. It comes on a brush, not on a doe foot. So um, you can get a little bit more precision, I think, with those kinds of Got a nice little whiff of uh, something sweet there as well. Uh, eyeliner, and it's in the colour Danger. Um, it's, an, it's called an eyeliner cake. I really, really fancy some cake. I text Steve and said, on your way home from work, can you please get me some cake? <laughs> really, really fancy cake. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a charcoal-y grey, not quite black, um, but it is lovely. I've done swatches of all of these already because I've obviously already tried them <clears throat> when they arrived. Um, so um, I really, really like them. Next thing is a, a pigment and it is in the colour Insight and it's got the little um, protector on it so um, you know the swatch will be at the end but as you can see kind of it's like a bronzy, bronzy colour. Really, really pretty. Um, gorgeous colour, um, going to look good I think for more natural looks but then at the same time because it's got some slight glitter to it I think it'll be lovely for um, evening wear as well and how cute is the packaging, I absolutely love these these little pots, they're brilliant, so cute the next thing is, oh they're sweet pea, um, liquid metal and this is in the colour Surge Surge not a detergent, um, and it's just like a cream cream base. As you can see, I've already done a swatch of it when it arrived, and this is just the most pigmented, unbelievably beautiful cream shadow I think I've ever owned. It is incredible. It is just absolutely beautiful. And then to finish off the mascara, I've got two eyeshadows. I have this one in Savage, which is this beautiful deep plum purple colour. Gorgeous. And then this one, which is in Wicked. Is it Wicked? Yes. It's Wicked. Which is this really, really gorgeous pale pink. So obviously thought that the two of them would work really, really nicely together. So um, that concludes my Illamasqua purchases. I absolutely love them and I'm really, really excited to try them all out. Ooh. Okay, so the last thing that I kind of have to show you, and then I'm going to do um, a separate video about some of the clothes that I've bought, because I purchased some stuff from Pull and Bear. Again, we're having a huge, amazing sale. Um, I have done some more shopping at Elf, and I haven't shopped at Elf for so long, so I was really, really impressed to have done some shopping. So here's what I got. Um, it arrived today, and I ordered it on Tuesday, so it was pretty good um, turnaround on delivery again. They did a 48% off everything sale, um, apart from the stuff that was already in the sale. So all of the prices I will list below, um, they're original, followed by how much I actually got them for, because I've done incredibly well, I think, with this stuff. Um, all of this came to uh, 32.65, and I saved £27. Um, with the discount so not bad at all to be honest almost obviously half price so um, so I'll just go through what I got I'll just take it out of the box in any old order the first thing I got was the custom compact palette um, because I bought two things in my last haul um, my last elf haul which still don't have anywhere to live so it just the compact and then you just put the um, compacty bits in there um, as I said, I bought two eyeshadows last time and they're just floating around the drawer. It's still in the boxes. I've got two of the um, compact to go in them. So I bought a eyeshadow, which is in the colour Driftwood, which is just really, really sparkly bronze. And then I also bought a blush um, and it's in the colour Koi, uh, which is a kind of, um, again, bronzy brown colour. And I wouldn't actually think that that would make a good blush colour. 
So what I'm going to do is use it as a colour, um, as a crease colour instead. But it looks like that, so it's hardly a, br a blusher. Um, but as I said, I'll use it as a crease colour or, um, you know, an outer corner colour just to kind of work with that. Because that one is very matte, whereas that one is very shiny. So together they should create quite a nice look. Uh, the next thing is a flawless eyeshadow palette. It's in the colour Happy Hour. Really, really cute. And it's got the base lid crease and liner on it so you can create that kind of look and um, it creates flawless looking eyes with easy step-by-step -step application guide Fab. next thing i was quite excited to try this is the maximum coverage concealer this is from their studio line and any concealer is good for me because of the dark circles that i have sorry i'm kind of looking after him as well um so I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. Um, it's in the colour porcelain, which is like the lightest tone that they do. Um, it's for very fair skin tones and has pink undertones, but um, I just want it to lighten my eyes because obviously sleep is kind of deprived at the moment. So um, it will just help to make me not look so tired. Although it's all worth it, isn't it? It is all worth it, I don't mind bought one of the all over cover sticks because I actually use this as a concealer it's in the colour apricot beige which looks like that and I just absolutely love this as I said I use this as a concealer um, and it just fits in my handbag just perfectly so just a tiny little rub on my finger swipe swipe done and away I go but I absolutely love this stuff it is incredible I will keep purchasing that bought the lip exfoliator from the studio line this is one of their new products and this um, is basically it is a sugary sweet um, and soothing um, balm um, infused with vitamin E, shea butter, avocado, grape and jojoba oil nourishes and protects um, so basically you just apply in a circular motion um, it's in the colour clear it kind of looks like a lipstick um, and it's just a sugary scrub and it smells, oh, it smells like toasted marshmallows. Oh, so I'm very much looking forward to trying that one. Um, I got the HD Blush, again, one of their new lines. This is in the colour Headliner. Um, I was really, really excited to try some of their new their new stuff because um, I just, you know, you know me, I love e.l.f. anyway, so I'd love trying out their new stuff. So I will be doing a review on their new products. Um, so this is the HD Blush. I said it's in the colour... Um, I've forgotten headliner um, and it's just on a pump applicator so I will do a review on that and let you know how I get on with it. Um, I've got two of the mineral lip glosses this first one is in the colour Au Naturel which is this peach peachy pinky nudie colour um, it's covered in sparkles I just love it um, don't for applicator there um, but it is stunning and the other colour I got was pageant princess now <laughs> there's a really weird reason as to why I bought this one because I'm on maternity leave I am spending a lot of time watching TV when he's asleep and the house is getting kind of like tidied up when Steve gets home because he kind of gives he takes over from Luke um, and he connects with Luke and then I can get on and do stuff around the house it's not ideal but it works for us so it's you know um, I'm just enjoying the kind of having my feet up watching TV all day kind of thing just chilling out with him and, and getting you know kind of a connection built with him so when as I said when Steve gets home then I get on and do the washing and the ironing and the hoovering and everything else because it gives Steve time to, to socialise with him um, so because I'm watching so much TV, one of my favourite programmes to watch at the moment is Toddlers and Tiaras. So I bought Pageant Princess because I just <laughs> thought, oh, I love that show. So again, the day for applicator, it's just this really, really beautiful pink, um, kind of candy bubblegum pink, and I really, really love it. So random reason as to why I bought it, but... Um, yes. <laughs> one of the mineral... Um, personal blend foundations this was actually eight pound um so i'm hoping for pretty decent results from it to be honest you get four different sections on it um i went for medium because in the winter i kind of wanted a bit of a darker coverage um so it looks like it comes like that so you have got the four colors which is bronze tan golden honey and medium beige um, it comes with the drug facts on the back. Um, 
It says a unique quad chamber allows you to mix the mineral powders together so you can create the perfect shade to suit your complexion throughout the year. And there's a dial in it as well so you can choose what gets dispensed. It's got really dark. Sun, come out. The baked blushes. There we go, very pretty. This is in the colour Passion Pink. Again, one of their new lines. Um, I was going to get one of their bronzers as well, but I was looking at my, um, looking at the cart and the subtotal kind of racking up and thought, nah, I don't need it. <laughs> so that looks like that. Um, as you can see, it's a really, really beautiful pink and it's got some gold, sh gold shimmering through it as well really really pretty again as I said one of their new lines so I was very excited to get my hands on that this is um, a 3-in-1 mascara it lengthens, defines and volumizes. it's in the colour black um, and I just love the look of this like that and the brush is mental it's got like a little knobbly bit on the end as well for thickening and volumizing lashes so again we'll review all of these things I will be trying them all out over the next couple of days um, and just playing around with them and seeing how I get on with them yay the sun's coming out Woo three of the new jumbo eyeshadow sticks um, because I've again heard some fantastic little reviews about these so I've got um, they are creamy and pigment rich eye colors um, so this one little miss thing and it's kind of a bronzy um, bronzy peach colour. I got French Lace which is just a little bit lighter than Little Miss Thing so I thought that would be quite quite cute and then I got Rock Out uh, which is a really dark kind of chocolatey brown so together they could create quite a nice look um, but yeah three of those. Um, you get quite a lot of products in these as well. These, how big are these? They actually have, oh, it doesn't say how much they are. Um, they have a twist up section as well though, so they're unlike the NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils, um, these ones actually you can twist the bottom so the product continues to come out which is a little bit easier. I got the mineral infused face primer because I've wanted to try this for so so long, um, I have need to actually start using a primer a little bit more because um, obviously it just makes my makeup last a little bit longer, um, but it looks like that, it's really really beautiful sleek packaging I really really like it so again we'll do a review on that let you know how I get on. The last thing in my big cosmetics haul um, is the beauty book this is the natural look beauty book and it has six eyeshadows an eyelid primer a pencil and an eyeshadow applicator it's an all-in-one book including the must-have makeup essentials create any look that reflects your personal style and the small sleek design is great for on-the-go touch-ups so um, it kind of has elastic to hold it all shut and it looks like this on the inside so on this side you've got the guide on how to create the day look and the night look and then on this side you've got the day highlighter a day base and a day contour and then this side is all this one is all the night night contour base highlighter and then as you can see here you've got the primer there's a brush in there and the liner on the end so Again, I would do swatches and stuff on all of those because I have to open it all and sort it all out. That is everything. That is my entire haul from various different places. I know I've gone on for a little while. I'm sorry. But thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.